Peter Solberg is running sixth, but it's just half a second behind Danny Sordo. Oh, but he's all over the place there. It's the same crest that nearly caught out here, and bounces off the armco. And Phil Mills knows they were lucky to get away with that. Petter's little slip-up is also good news for his older brother Henning, who was just over five seconds ahead before this stage. Oh, that's the same crest again. Well, they're really taking sibling rivalry to new levels. Now they're even trying to outdo each other's mistakes. It's a costly one for Henning, though. He loses fourth place to Sordo on this stage. I went out, really went out. And I spin and I have to stop and drive again. Oh, yeah, yeah. Was it over a crest into a right-hander? Yes. Your brother has done the same. Oi, oi, oi. He's not put a wheel wrong. He's driven a perfect rally. Not just that, his Subaru has run without fault. That's it. <laughs> the team are happy, which you can understand because they've just won the very first Rally of Japan. Hey, not a bad weekend, eh? So happy, Phil. After Germany, NBA back on top again. Absolutely. What's more important, the 10 points or winning for Subaru in Japan? I think it's uh, both things. Both. It's just incredible. Winning Japan also, that's incredible. <laughs> really, really good. Just thanks to everybody, you know, that helped me. Really good fun. All the mechanics and uh, never give up. That's the plan. The world champion needs to keep attacking despite these wet, slippery conditions this morning. Oh, but he's off! It sounds like there's a bit of a disagreement between driver and co-driver there. This is unbelievable. Lopes doing his best to reverse out of the undergrowth, but it looks like he's going nowhere. What happened? Ask the co-driver. <laughs> Mistake in the notes, so... Okay, it happens. Uh, he, I went too fast in the corner, so I couldn't do anything. You say a mistake in the notes. That was you making the wrong pace note or the wrong pace note called. Uh, wrong call. Uh, it was good in the in, in the pace to, in the notes, but uh, okay, first time in, in ten years that he makes a mistake. Maybe not the best time to do it, but it's like this. Okay, pitka eri. Yeah. Yeah. It's nice after what happened in Wales to be, so it's, it's for him this victory. We are very happy for that. On stage 14, Chris Atkins lost the vital balance between pace and safety. Those trees can cause considerable damage. Even so, he continues to keep up his speed and is now fourth ahead of Manfred Stoll. Chris, the car's a big mess. What happened? Oh, I'm not sure how bad it looks. It's still driving okay. Just clipped a few small trees in the outside of a corner. Nothing bad. You've lost the rear wing. It must be difficult to drive without any downforce. Well, I didn't notice that. I was wondering what was wrong at the end. Uh, flat, one right, 